morning guys today we are going to start with experiment 2 theorems of electrical circuit analysis okay basically in electrical circuits uh, theory you might have studied about the way the electrical theorems superposition thevenin norton's maximum power one of maximum power transform this the name so what i am calling is the usually used theorem okay we have 11 theorems in the electrical circuits part but uh, we, here we are going to do only the two theorems we are going to perform experiment on with the two theorems that is the proposition and Thevenin theorem basically we are just verifying the theorems okay using the hardware these theorems usually you verify with the uh, software no sorry with the, with the numerical okay so here what we are going to do we will solve the same circuit using numerical analysis and then we will implement in the hardware and we will verify it okay let us start the experiment uh, so as you know the proposition theorem uh, so superposition is stated in any linear circuit containing multiple independent sources either current or voltage source at any point may be calculated as algebraic sum of individual contribution effect of each source acting alone okay so you know that uh, at a time we will connect one source okay and suppose if the circuit has one or more sources so at a one time we will connect one source and short or open based upon the voltage source or the current source we will take the individual current or voltage and when we will sum it it is equal to the total okay it is equal, equal to the sum of total current or the voltages okay so this is the superposition theorem full way if we de define Thevenin theorem it is nothing but any linear circuit contained with several voltages and resistance can be replaced by just one single voltage in series with a single resistance connected across the load that means if you have several uh, sources like m m voltage source so this we can replace by single voltage source and many resistance we can replace as the total resistance okay so this is nothing but Thevenin theorem okay. we will verify by using the hardware part and there is uh, if you go in detail okay so here is the objective to apply the superposition theorem to apply the Thevenin theorem okay so we are not going to perform this part in this experiment okay later on we will apply this Ap apparatus as you know we need DC supply two multimeter group of resistance with 30 to 20 and 100 and the potentiometer this is a new thing we will see potentiometer what is potentiometer okay so experimental procedure here you have the two voltage source here you can see 12 volt and 6 volt so 12 volt and 6 volt we can use from the same device as you you can see here this is the same device we can use 12 and 6 from here okay and select the appropriate meter ranges okay so so as this is the procedure we will start how we proceed how we proceed with this is so first we will measure total current in the circuit okay we will apply 12 volt here 6 volt here power supply 1 power supply 2 okay we will take the whole current from here with this ammeter okay so it, this is I not total current in the circuit okay uh, first part we will adjust okay we will remove the supply 2 okay shorten this because this is a voltage source when you replace voltage source okay it should be short circuit when it is a current source you, it should be open circuit okay this is ammeter not a, okay uh, so i am removing voltage source from here and making it short circuit it will it is the to i o one suppose okay so let us redraw the circuit here so here So here it is to put volt, here it is resistance, here it is resistance, here it is emitter, sorry, this is 
Gehen wir runter. Okay, now what I am going to do is I am removing this and I am making it as a short circuit. Okay, so this is gone. Now when we measure the current, it is I not one. Total current here first it when we are measuring total current with help of this source it is I not. Okay, now this current it is I not one plus when we short this. Okay, and when I remove this part. This part and I so, so this is six volt. So this is I not two. This is I not two. So this should be equal. So suppose whatever the value you are getting with I not uh, with the, the two voltage source, okay, it is I not, okay, with this voltage source it is I not one and with this voltage source it is I not two. Okay, we will verify with the help of experiment. Let us let us start the experiment. So this is our apparatus. Okay. We are not going to do this, okay. Okay, we need 330 ohm, 220 ohm and 150 ohm resistance. Okay, 150 ohm is the load. Okay, now here you have two power supplies, 12 volt and 6 volt. So 12 volt is PS1 and PS2. Okay, so here you can see 12 volt, fixed 12 volt, I can use this part as a to fix tool to provide the circuit tool board to the circuit okay and here and here I can use the variable knob and I can provide 6 volt here okay let us set the value to the 6 volt by using multi multimeter okay keep on the voltage okay so let us measure the value as 6 volt okay it is set 6 volt is set so, okay it is set to the 6 volt okay now no need to change it okay from here we can provide the 12 volt now we, we don't want 15 we want 12 volt okay let us keep on 12 volt okay and just remove this so let us start the connection you can see this is from 12 volt it is going to 330 from 330 to 220 and 220 to the 6 volt and from minus it is coming to the ammeter okay 150 it is coming to the ammeter and negative this common point this common point all are grounded okay so this is the circuit let us start the connection okay it's 12 volt it will be 330 12 volt to 330 and from 330 to 220 okay from 220 to 150 any point from here to here uh, or from here you can connect from any point okay and from this point to the 6 volt okay from here we are providing 6 volt to the 220 okay and we are we will connect ammeter after 150 okay this part this, from 150 it is connected to the ammeter and ammeter this all three are short so ammeter okay another end of the ammeter is grounded common so this is the total circuit okay from this point to the 330 okay from this point it is going to 220 okay from here or here you can connect to the 150 okay from this point to 64 and one from 150 it is connected to the ammeter We ought to set this to six water. Again, six. 
six volt is given to two twenty. Okay, and this point to the ammeter, and from ammeter it is connected to the power. Okay, this is this twenty nine point seven is total current. So here total current we are getting as I naught. You can write I naught is equal to twenty nine point. How much it is? Twenty nine point seven milli ampere. Okay, this is I naught. We don't want voltage here, so this is with you can tablet here. Okay, with PS one and PS two, so it is how much? Twenty nine point. Seven milli ampere. Now what we are going to do is next part. P. Now you can observe in the table tablet form. I not with P S one only P S one and we will remove P S two. Okay. So make correction as P S two. Then P S one. Okay. Only P S one. With P S one means how much? Only twelve volt. Okay. So we will remove the six volt from the circuit. So six volt, this point is here. From this point, we remove six volt. That means from two twenty, it will go directly to the common. So let us remove this six volt, and I will connect it to the common point. Okay, remove this and connect it here. Connect to the common point, and this is. So you can see, this is I not one. So here, I not one is seventeen milli ampere. Okay, this is I not one. So it is on the milli ampere. Okay, seventeen. Milli ampere with PS one. Now what we do is we will remove this and connect on six volt. Sorry for this. My this one may come in off track. No problem. Okay, just I will remove this and I will connect to the. To, uh, from here I have removed and I have connected here. So that means this is. Only six volt is common here, and this with short. So how much it is? Twelve point seven. So how much it is? I not. I not two is. How much it is? Twelve point. Twelve point seven. It is twelve point seven milli ampere. Add this two, so it will be I not one plus I not two, which is equal to I not. Okay, so here we we prove the superposition theorem. You go to the the next page. You can find the circuit. Okay. So here you can uh, do the calculation. Okay, just uh, uh, just remove PS1. Okay, and sorry PS2 and calculate. So with the total, just calculate I not and then I not one and I not two. Okay, so let us calculate here. I will not calculate. I will just give you the hint. Okay, you can calculate by yourself. This is PS1. PS1 till I not one. Okay, with this you can calculate I not two six volt. You can calculate P S two I not two. Okay, so just calculate this I not equals to I not one plus I not two. This is the theoretical part. Okay, the pro problematically we solve it. Uh, we implement it on the circuit and we got the. Th Uh, practical part, okay. You, theoretically, yes, you can solve it. 
know the next part is Thevenil serum. Okay. Thevenil serum. Okay. As you know, we will remove all the resistance and replace it by one resistance. All the sources and we will replace it by one source. Okay. So just uh, that is called as V uh, Thevenil and R Thevenil. So we will calculate V Thevenil and R Thevenil. So let us. So we have to calculate here V. We have to calculate V Thevenil and R Thevenil. So to calculate V Thevenil, we have to remove, uh, replace it by all this, this by all the voltage source and this by one resistance. Okay. So let us see the circuit here. So 150 is the load resistance, okay. R Thevenin and I naught. Okay, let us start the connection. Okay, from 6 volt same way from 6 volt to 330 and from 330 to 220 okay it is sorry it is 10 right to 12 okay 10 and 6 to 220 okay uh, from this point you can connect to the 150 Here we are just calculating voltage. Okay, let us calculate the voltage here. So here, this from this two point, this from 220 or 320 anywhere. If you connect from this point uh, to the common in the uh, power supply, then we will find the total voltage. That is V Thevenin. V Thevenin is 10 here. V Thevenin is 10 volt. Okay. Now let us take the the total resistance. Okay. So here you can find total resistance. Just click on resistance. Okay. And no need for, uh, for the for power supply. Okay. Why it is not coming? Just uh, let us. Okay, just re switch off the supply. No need for the supply because we are calculating only total resistance. Okay, calculate total resistance from three three thirty and two twenty. I will connect from these two point. Okay, these two are will be in the series, and from these two it will be in the series like this. Okay, so this point and this point I will connect the ohm meter. So here we can find the total resistance. Okay. So let us see. Uh, 220 I have connected like this, and this uh, from 220 and 330. Okay, from 330 to this point, 220 to this, and 330 into this fashion. It is actually parallel, okay, not series. So connect the ohm meter in any two, two point, okay, 330 and 220. Then to the ohm meter from this point, okay keep on kilo ohm okay not in the volt just keep on kilo ohm okay now let us connect the ohmmeter here and here okay so now the total now the total resistance is 131.4 so 131.4 is R Thevenin so we calculated here V Thevenin and R Thevenin okay R Thevenin it is 131.4 ohm because here it is brothers you can see here Sorry. so this is ohm okay when you see when you come to the lab you can find 
this is ohm it is kilo ohm here but here it is only ohm maximum value is here ohm so this will be 2 kilo ohm okay here it is 200 ohm bus so make sure you don't make yourself confused okay now i will use the potentiometer this is this variable knob it is used as it is potentiometer here we can set the this is we can vary the resistance value what is the resistance total resistance value we have now r seven unit is 131.4 ohm okay i will take the resist 470 potentiometer okay uh, potentiometer with the value of 470 and i will set the uh, i will set the value of r thevenin okay by using the potentiometer next okay now just connect it cross here okay just vary from here so vary the knob we vary the knob like this okay so 470 is the maximum value here so when i vary from here you can set the resistance value to 131 from here okay so now we set the resistance value because we don't have exact value of this so just i change using the potentiometer it's fine you can use variable potentiometer for variable resistance okay 131 it is set okay now just connect with the 150 at the load resistance okay uh thevenin theorem what is thevenin theorem we find total voltage as 10 volt and total resistance as 131.4 so now i have set the uh, by using potentiometer i set the resistance value of 131 and now i will make the voltage how much 10 volt now we can vary the the voltage okay so voltage uh, here with have in is how much 10 volt okay uh, we will connect to the voltmeter and we can set the value this is r have in this is uh, just make the correction it is 150 okay from here and from this point I will connect to the variable voltage and set the value to 10 volt ok let us set the value to the 10 volt off let us make it on first make the voltage value 10 ok it is 10 10 10 10 done 10 ok done so now we set the 7 and voltage to 10 volt ok make the circuit just connect the with 7 and and R thevenin in, in series with the this is 150 okay make the correction it is 150 sorry 150 okay 150 ohm because load resistance is 150 PS1 is good R thevenin is 131 both are in series okay let us connect from 10 because all now we set to the 10 okay previously it was 6 now we set to the 10 from here to the residual r thevenin okay from r thevenin from r thevenin to 150 okay so here i am connecting in the cross fashion okay to the 150 okay from 150 to the ammeter so because we are connect we are calculating the current here so let us just remove that to avoid the just clear okay mess no mess no so now the current is 35.6 okay let us make sure okay the connection just make sure the connection of okay, it is 10 We already set the value to 10 volt okay so now the total current is i naught is 35.6 so i naught is 
35.6 okay so we have in is just fill the table table form we uh, you can fill the table form like we have in it is uh, <coughs> 10 volt and r have in is 131.4 and i not is 35.6 milli ampere okay so these are measured values and here it is calculated values so ca for cal for uh, doing the calculation just go to the circuit and solve it and you can verify okay theoretical and the practical part just fill the box 10 volt 131.4 milliamperes and i notice sorry sorry that is this one one thirty one point four oh not milliampere it is thirty five point six milliampere okay okay and do the calculation part if we conclude our experiment to see her consider the same circuit rl is 150 ohm uh, it is required to calculate the current i not using thevenin theorem okay so to do with thevenin theorem just draw the circuit here okay and do the calculation part okay if you have any doubt you can ask me okay to the my mail and we can perform the same experiment in the lab in the week three tomorrow inshallah and brothers if you subscribe the channel you can view the new videos uh, for your better understanding okay so take care bye bye